Hey everyone, uh, Eric Van Horn here with I Love Franchising and I wanted to talk about um, the frustrations that people deal with when they start looking at buying a franchise and uh, recently I've been talking to a lot of people who are frustrated and they get to me and they're like, Eric, I don't even know how I got to you, um, but I saw your podcast or some videos on YouTube or maybe on Facebook and they're like, so we got connected. This is after they apply to talk to me and, and let me know a bit about themselves, but we're on the phone talking and, and uh, they start to tell me about all of these frustrations. And so I don't know if you've had some of these frustrations, but they are certainly common out there. Now, I never used to hear these frustrations because it mostly... I only worked with people who were referred to me by people that have worked with me in the past. And uh, recently, uh, like I said, with the podcast and, and more videos, people are just reaching out to me saying, Eric, I cannot believe um, I've had to deal with all this stuff. And now finally I get to talk to someone that actually knows what they're doing and what they're talking about. And by the way, if you ever do want to talk to me about some franchise opportunities and um, or maybe about some franchise opportunities you're looking at currently, uh, just go to talkwitheric.com and um, let's set up a time to talk. Um, so back to the frustrations. Uh, one of the guys I was talking to today, we had a great conversation. And he's like, he's like, gosh, Eric, I talked to these, these people. He's like, I don't know if they do what you do or they do something else. But what they're doing is they just keep asking me, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? No confidence at all in the brands that they're actually talking about. They actually didn't even get to know the guy. All they start doing is talking about brands. And, and um, you may as well just go to Entrepreneur if you want a list of franchise brands. And so he asked me, he's like, what are your favorite brands? And that's when I said, you know what? This is the first time that we talked. I really, you know, I've gotten to know you a little bit, but I really don't know the things that I need to know to be able to tell you the brands that I think would be right for you and, and not only just do that, but go into the reasons of why. And um, it reminded me of a conversation that I had uh, earlier last week with a friend and made me realize the reason that I don't just start talking about franchise brands right away in terms of the ones that I own, because I own, uh, there's a franchise that I own, uh, bought last, uh, last month, it's not out there anywhere in public information. And you know, we work together, I eventually tell you what it is, but more importantly than telling you what it is, I tell you why I bought it for me, how it fits into my portfolio, what, what was important about that brand that um, was right for me at this time. And it actually goes back to why I bought um, a fitness brand in Denver uh, this summer. And it all starts to fit together with my plan. But if I was just to say, hey, Brand X is, is my latest and greatest and favorite brand, they're going to think like, gosh, if Eric owns it, then if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. And that couldn't be further than the truth. Um, what you'll find is people uh, that are trying to sell you franchises, they do the same thing, except it's even one step worse because they don't have any experience owning franchise brands. And so because of the, the lack of experience, which by the way, you don't need to have experience to have someone give you good advice. So I'm not saying that, but with the experience that I have owning and purchasing multiple brands in multiple states over the years, it's given me a perspective in this industry to ask some really uh, pointed questions and then continue to ask several follow-up questions beyond that to see if this, if this is the right brand that's going to help you reach the goals that you actually want to reach, not just because it's the hottest or the latest or the greatest or whatever. Um, you can find that by surfing Facebook, getting on some uh, magazine articles, and you can find the hottest and latest and greatest, and then you can decide if you think it really is. Typically, all that's historical. You never really know um, uh, much about that brand because when you see rankings or things like that, typically what that is, uh, a large part of that is how many franchises they've sold in the past year, two years, or three years. Who cares about that from you as a buyer? There are things that are a lot more important for you as someone that's looking to buy a franchise, and that's exactly what I do um, if you uh, want to talk to me and are qualified, and there's a number of qualification questions, and if you're not qualified, I, I let you know that right away as well. 
And um, maybe uh, you're not qualified today, but maybe in a year, two years, or whenever, you are. I love to help people. I love to share content. I'm sorry I can't talk to everybody, but if you do want to talk to me and learn more about franchising, um, check out uh, the URL, talkwitheric.com.